you can legit do anything you want to do and yeah i'm gonna make a really obvious statement or i'm gonna sound like a cringe lord but i can do anything you can do anything it's not a matter if this is possible it's a matter what are you willing to give up in order to get that it's all about opportunity costs it's would you rather be doing this right now and rather than something else would you rather be spending your time energy effort money on certain things rather than other things and it only comes down to this so it's not a question of oh can i open a business and oh can i can i get an airplane private license it's a matter of am i willing to spend that time that i may be doing other things that are more important and that i have more interest for myself so the whole idea of giving up the only time you're truly giving up is when you want to be doing something and you know you have a target in front of you but you're just like ah like i'm too lazy like i i, I can't be ass that's giving up but if you change interest in something else and if you decide that okay this is not what i really want to do right now i want to do something else that's not giving up my whole life i thought i would be professional i would be a professional show jumper i was dedicated to it I spent all my time thinking about it, all my energy, all the money. I never went out. But since coming to the Netherlands, my opinion on it changed. And I realized that there's other things I want to do. I realized that show jumping, and if you don't know what show jumping is, it's just basically where horses jump. It would take all my dedication, all my time. But I, as a person, wanted to experience other different things. I, as a person, wanted to open a business. I wanted to explore. I wanted to travel. And I realized that, yeah, it could either be this or that. But personally, for me, it was too painful to go half and uh, go half assets. So in another world, yeah, I'd be doing that on the side or something like this. But the point is that it's not giving up. It's you changing self-interest. It's you changing and developing as a person. And that's normal. It's normal for you to change your opinions. In fact, if you don't change your opinions on things, there's an issue. There's an issue if you just want to remain doing the same thing all the time. It means you're too comfortable. It means you are not growing as a person. And you could be growing positively, you could be growing negatively. But the thing is, you are growing. You could deteriorate yourself. But the whole idea of growth is based on your actions that you do every single day. So for example, a job. A, a lot of people don't change jobs but it's but obviously we get bored of jobs obviously we get bored of doing the same task every single day but people don't change jobs not because they love what they're doing and yet yeah, there are i'm not saying that there aren't things like that but it's really ca rare cases of people truly loving what they love what they do but most of the time it's because we're already too comfortable we already know there's a paycheck coming we already are so built in that and we know that this is what we're good at and if we do something else then we have to restart and be beginners and that's uncomfortable for us so obviously it's easier to just stick to what we are best at and that's not necessarily wrong that's the thing that's not necessarily wrong but don't say that you don't have choice you have choice you and yes that's really privileged of me to say and some people are it's harder for them to obtain something. For some people, it's easier based on their background. If you have money, if you have a family that helps money, has connections, then obviously it's gonna be easier for you to obtain that. But you, it's still in your hands and it's gonna be harder for you. But you come out, like for example, a driving theory test, you wanna get your driver's license. Some people are naturally talented, are naturally lucky. They're just gonna get it done. Some people are not. Some people, for them, it's gonna be harder but the thing is even if you fail six seven times what you end up doing is you end up learning persistency you end up learning that you have to be consistent and at the end of this it's going to be more ingrained in your head you're going to learn more from your failures well depending on what kind of person you are but you should always be striving to learn from what failures you have going for yourself but the point is that at the end if you don't give up you and the person who just naturally did it in one shot are not only going to be on the same level but you're also going to have more knowledge and expertise and edu on education on top of that because you did not give up so generally you have choice you and fuck it's obvious but people don't realize this like you can do anything you want to be doing so don't use the idea of oh i just 
I can't do this. I can't do this. Yes, you can. What you, the actual thing you are trying to say is that I'd rather just be putting my time in something else. And that's fine. That's fine. So anyway, guys, here's a little short video. And this is just a reminder because a lot of people just forget this. And I see it a lot. And also like studying and work and the gym, like you can do this. You just would rather be doing something else. But I do want to end it on a note. Your actions build you up as a person. What you do every single day has a reflection on your confidence, on your self-esteem, on your worth, um, on your actions, on your thoughts too. So make sure you're indulging in the right types of things. Make sure you're doing to-do lists. Just indulge in things that in one shape or form are going to make you go a step forward in your life. So I'm going to end this on this note and hopefully you guys learned something today.